Hello YouTube and welcome to our second 3DS Max tutorial and last tutorial we did go over the basics of 3DS Max which is the most tedious part but now let's go into the fun bit so we're going to drop straight in by modelling something basic for now and then we're going to texture it next tutorial and then model something else, texture something model it, texture and we'll learn e new steps each time so what we're we going to model today, we need something super super basic now I got recommended a gun but a gun is not really for a level at the moment. We're going to be doing a gun later. But for now, what I'm thinking is we just model, I don't know, a basic temple or a house. Because you've seen one of them before, hopefully. So we're going to start off with our box tool by clicking at the side. If you haven't got it, make sure you're in the create panel. So we just click it. And we'll just stretch one out and just stretch it up for a little bit. So let's look at what length it is. So 120, we'll make it square to 120. And the height, we'll set a... 15, that'll do. So we've got a basic floor. And now what we're going to do is go back to our move tool, right click, clone, and click copy. We'll keep it at name box 2 and click OK. So now we've just made a copy of it. So we can move it up. And if we go down here, look at the Z axis. So we'll, ju it's, we'll just move it up 15 so it's super straight on top. Look. So, if you want to quickly switch between the panels like I'm doing as well, all you do is click your middle mouse button. So, you know your scroll wheel? If you look at your mouse now, your scroll wheel, um, click that in. It's actually a hidden button if you didn't know. So, you can just I quickly click it and you move into it. Um, when you get used to it, you'll be able to do it. So, we'll click our scale tool again. And we'll just scale it down this way to around 50. And we'll do the same for this, around 50 again. To there but as you can see that's not very accurate so if we undo that and if you go up here this tool you'll actually see it's got a little arrow next to it so if we click it and click and hold you'll get a new tool open up and if you drag down it by holding mouse and let go on what the tool you want you can change it now that's the standard one is the box with the larger box with one arrow but if we click this box with two rectangles and let go now you can see these of them grade so we can change each one individually so we've changed this one to 50 and this one's 50 what do we get we get a small temple so let's change it up a bit bigger 75 to 75 that'll do so let's see we now have one of them so it's going there click it scale again clone lift it up to 30 50 and 30 so there we go click our scale tool again and we'll change this to 50 and 50 so now we have somewhat of a basic temple but it needs to be bigger so what we're going to do is select it all, and we'll click and hold this and go back to our normal tool. And we'll just scale it all by clicking in the middle triangle. Scale it up largely to around 150, so it's like 50 degrees. That'll do. So now we have a bigger temple, and you're wondering, probably wondering why we scaled it up. But now, if we go to our cylinder, and this one, and we'll just drag a cylinder out here. Um, and drag it up. So let's see. And radius can be 10 and the height can be 50 so it's big well 50 is not big enough actually 100 and in the front view we'll just drag it up like that, that'll do so now we have a big temple thing as you can see and what we're going to do is in the top view we're going to clone and then we're going to press copy but I'm going to show the shortcut key now if you go into the move tool hold shift and click your arrow and then drag it you'll see it clones it so we can just drag it to there that don't copy. So here, what's this one? This is on minus 30, so let's just make it equal 30, 53. And this one can be on minus 30, minus 30, and 53. So now if we click both of these, holding control, and then hold shift and drag across, we can clone all four. So copy. So let's see, what's this on? 30, 30, 53. So we just change this one to 30. It's just make it look equal and neat, really. So so we've got a Alt W, if you remember, to make it full screen. So as you can see, we've got a basic temple. Um, it's looking somewhat okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our box tool and drag a box on top of it for a kind of a roof. So we'll drag it about this size. and uh, That's five squares, that five squares, that. And drag it up. So now what we can do in the top view, if you want to get rid of the grid, if it messes with your eyes, because it does sometimes mine, just press G, and it disappears. So that's a really helpful tool that I learnt. So we'll make it slightly 
bigger than it. So we just go to our properties and click 50. Okay, we'll make it 40 because that's the height. I think 40. Um, 180 by 180. Boom. So we have a bigger thing, but it's not that big. So we'll make it 200 by 200 so it overlaps it. And now what we'll do is set it to 000, which is on the floor. And we'll move it over it so it's overlapping and move it up. So G to get rid of the grid and up. So there it is. We have a basic roof, but this roof is absolutely terrible. You've just seen it. Look at it. It needs to be more triangular. So if we click it and in our modifier list, press E and add an editable poly like we did last time in the basic tutorial. Click our vertex of three dots. If you can't see it, just look for the selection panel. And now what we can do is if we go to the front view and select these two and hold control and select these two vertex, so we've got four. Click our scale tool and drag on the x-axis. Drag in and in and just keep going and going and going and going. And just make it drag it in to there. So as you can see we've got a basic temple, even though those roof corners would cut you. But yeah, so it's not brilliant, but it's good for now. So we'll just add some colour to it. So we'll make our roof red. Right, select all our floors and make all them uh brown. If we can have a brown, where's our brown? That'll do. Brown. And we'll make our pillars. What colour shall I have? Our pillars. Make it creamy white. That'll do. Boom. So, see, we have a basic temple. It's not the best thing. But now, what we're going to do is we'll just leave it at that for now. We'll just save it. So, if you press Ctrl S or, go, or click um, the big 3DS Max panel thing and save as. I'm just going to save this on my desktop as, um, what should we call it, YouTube Temple, like so. So next tutorial we're going to texture that and we'll add a roof texture, a co column texture and a thing texture. They're really easy to texture, um, but if you want to exploit yourself in between, press M on your keyboard and there's the material editor. So explore the material editor if you want to. Um, if you understand it, great. If you don't, just wait till the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.